Okay, so here's a simple way to kind of solve the problem of how do we create a manifold object with multiple benches in it. First, let me talk a little bit about my scene setup. I'm using metric. My unit scale is 0 0.001 and the length is millimeters. So because of that, when I import the bench sheet, it comes in at the right scale. Now this right here is the A1 volume for bamboo. This is the, the Prusa volume and this is the X1C volume. So these are just, gives you an idea of how big this is. So I'm going to turn these off. Okay. Now look at this. I've got 225,000 tries. If I see in this, you'll see this really tight mesh. First thing I'm going to tab into this, select everything, go into mesh and clean up. And I'm going to say decimate geometry and I'll say 0.1 and notice what it does. So we're down at 22,000. So we've considerably reduced the number of faces. Now we have a much nicer mesh to work with. I'm going to make sure I shade this flat because we're making 3D models. Shift D this, Z it up here and scale it down, something like this, you know. Now there's a couple things I can do. I can Boolean these together, but I also may want to duplicate another object. I'm going to Shift D X, move this over here, drop it down to about right there, scale it down, something like this. And then I'm going to tab into this, go into mesh, and I'm going to also decimate the geometry of that. Tab here, A, mesh, clean up, and decimate that. And so you get the idea. Now we have three objects. I'm going to select these three, and then Control J, which joins the object. Now these are all one object. Now, if I look at this, notice that they're not manifold at all, so it cannot be printed yet. It is an object. If I tab into this and say L, you see these are all separate objects, right? So I want to make them all one in this mesh. First, I'm going to add a Boolean modifier to it. And I want to select collection as my object that I want to modify. As you can see, once I've done that, it's pretty much solved the problem. By selecting collection and leaving this empty, it'll do a really good job. Now, once this is done, right, let's applied. We have 27,000 vertices. And now if I say tab and hit A and I can switch to edge mode and then say select all by trait and we say non-manifold. And notice that we have edges 20 selected. They're very small, if I can see them at all. This is basically a manifold object. And of course, you can put it into any slicer. It'll show you that it slices well. It'll actually slice just fine. The trick here is to use the decimate point one and the new Boolean self-intersect feature. I hope that helps.